Today's top stories. In prison, Iranian-American journalist Roxana Sabari was freed on Monday after an Iranian appeals court reduced her eight-year jail sentence for spying for the United States to a two-year suspended term. Minutes after leaving Tehran's Avin prison, Sabari said, quote, I'm okay. I don't want to make any comments, but I'm okay. Her release comes one day after the appeals court heard a closed-door appeal by Sabari and her lawyers. Iran's judiciary spokesperson Ali Riza Jam Shadi said that the two-year suspended jail term would be in effect for a period of five years. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu arrived in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt on Monday, where he is holding talks with Egypt's President Hosni Mubarak. Netanyahu, on his first trip abroad since taking office in March, was expected to seek Egypt's support against Iran's disputed nuclear program, before the Israeli leader heads to the White House on May 18th. Egypt's state agency, MENA, said that the talks would also cover the Israeli-Palestinian peace talks. Egypt, the first Arab state to sign a peace treaty with Israel, has urged Netanyahu to clarify his stance on the two-state principle. Iran on Monday denied a report that the United States has set an October deadline for concluding the first round of talks with Iran on its nuclear program. The Israeli Daily Haaretz reported on Sunday that U.S. Special Envoy to the Persian Gulf, Dennis Ross, told a senior European diplomat that Washington would complete its first round of talks sometime this autumn, probably October. Iran's foreign ministry spokesperson Hassan Kashgabi told reporters, quote, This claim was made by the Haaretz newspaper and has no place or consideration, and we have not received more exact reports on this matter through official or political sources, calling for a three-month deadline. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.